Hi, my name is Tom and welcome at XPB. I'm going to be your instructor for today and if you have any questions at the end of the video, please ask us, we are happy to help. You can find our information right here. Hello and welcome to this lesson about how to set up your 3D model inside of your 3D software. For this lesson, I'm going to use 3D Studio Max, but you can also use different software programs like Maya or Blender or any kind that can export into a OBJ or FPX file format. Inside of my 3D program, I have prepared a model of a phone. On the left hand side, you can see all the different parts separated correctly by name. This will make sure that creating hierarchy is way easier with correct naming. I will be showing how to create a hierarchy in one of the later lessons. In this lesson, I will show you all the correct setups for your 3D model to get a correct import into XPV. To start, the maximum poll account of XPV is 300,000. In this scene, you can see we are well below that number. The 300,000 polygon max is at one scene, so at one time visible inside of your configurator. If you have a lot of options, the total amount of polygons can add up above the 300,000. It just can't be over 300,000 in one view at the same time. This limit is set to have the best possible load times on different kinds of systems, for example, mobile and also desktop. The next thing to check inside of your 3D model is to have it centered at zero, zero. This will make sure that it's also centered inside of the XPV configurator. All parts of your model should have correct UVs. I can show you this one the front. If I open the editor, you can see that the front is laid out correctly. This will make sure that if you're going to add texture maps, that they will be displayed correctly inside of the configurator. Another thing to consider is your unit setup. For XPV, the best unit setup is meters. So in 3ds Max, you can check this in the unit setup. It's in metric and it's in meters. So this is fine. After you've checked all these settings, your model is ready to be either uploaded in XPV or to add the hierarchy inside of your 3D program. In the next lesson, I will show you how to create this hierarchy. This will save you a lot of time inside of XPV. Thank you for following along in this lesson and I hope to see you in the next one.